cooking is an exact science and so is fabric making. Inside the kitchen of 14 year old Isha Marla's house. These are all the ingredients that I'm gonna need to make the like the basic solution that's gonna go into the molds later. It looks like she's doing a little baking. We have our alginate and that's where kind of the seaweed part comes in. So as we know seaweed is really gel like slippery and smooth on the outside. And that's really what we want in our fabrics. But she's not about to put anything in the oven. She's cooking up sustainable clothes from the same products you find in seaweed. Marla was just named a finalist for America's Top Young Scientist. Then I got the call and they told me that I'd be traveling to Minnesota and working with a mentor all summer. And I actually was like jumping up and down for a solid 10 minutes. The process takes a little time. After she's done mixing the solution, she pours what looks like slime over this fabric where it dries for a couple of days. In the end, this is what she has. This one could be turned into fabric and this one could turn into a shirt. And from them, I've made doll clothes, like shirts and skirts and purses. She didn't get chosen as a finalist because she wants to pursue fashion. It's been exciting, you know. Um, you know, it's exciting to see how passionate she is about, you know, like just STEM in general. Marla got picked because she's focusing on the environment and making sure clothing from the fast fashion industry, which is mass produced clothing that ends up in landfills, doesn't. And I learned that 92 million tons of fast fashion textile waste just heads to landfills every year and only 1% is actually recycled. She's hoping more people start looking to alternatives when it comes to clothing. Biofabrics are sustainable textiles that don't need a bunch of water or pesticides or all those chemicals. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Joe Ranieri.